Hey, what's up, nerds? Paul Conti here with round three of Triumph GT. Uh, I was playing my Nurgle against another Stormcast opponent. This time we were playing Star Strike. And here's my opponent's list. He was running a modified Vanguard wing. Uh, he was running a unit of 10 Liberators, Judicators, three units of Prosecutors in the wing. Uh, another unit of five Judicators to fill out his battle line, a Griff Hound, two Lord Celestants, two Lord Castellants, a Lord Ordinator, and a Lord Relictor. And the wild card here, two Hellstorm Rocket Batteries. And I'm going to say up front that I misplayed all of the things this game. Uh, my opponent uh, in this game, I believe, ended up taking fifth place in the tournament overall. Um, so I don't feel too bad about the, well, I'll, spoilers, the loss that I take here, but, um, it was definitely, uh, a learning experience game for me, for sure. So I forgot to really start, uh, taking pictures straight off the top, but you can see here, um, this is, I believe, like, after the first battle round, um that red chip over on the right hand side was the first star that came down in the middle of the map so this must be the top of round two um i had moved up uh my guys to um try and take as much board control as i could and hug the tree and not give him a lot of space to teleport in those liberators um uh, also, on my first turn, I had completely forgotten to bring in uh, Gut Rot Spume in the unit of 10 Blight Kings that he comes with, so we ended up uh, resolving the issue uh, by having them come in on my board edge when we realized the problem. Um, so this is the right-hand side of the board. This was obviously before I figured out that my Blight Kings were supposed to be coming in. I jumped in and took that point um, turn one, um, and I was able to drop the Feculent Gnarl Maw down pretty early with uh, some good rolls on uh, my Contagion points. So uh, my hope was to use that seculent, second Feculent Gnarl Maw to sort of catapult myself over into his units once I uh, got things going. So this is just another shot of my right flank, him bringing his dudes in, um, and his repositioning of guys over on his flank. Uh, he had positioned his Griff Hound over by the corner so that he could theoretically have opened up fire on... Um, my Blight Kings if I had brought them in on that corner. I think Actually, I think he was also trying to zone me out over there to protect those two Hellstorm rocket batteries. So he teleported his unit of 10 Liberators kind of into the middle of the map, which um, that was definitely probably the right play. He dropped two Castellant buffs on them, um, and I believe Blessed Weapons, and they just stuck around there for a long time. Um, actually, you know what? Those were not objective markers, those red things. Those were, uh, some buff of some kind. Oh, those were, um, I believe damned terrain buffs. Uh, just to remind myself that, that I had given myself the plus ones. Uh, and I had left one unit of Blight Kings hanging back just in case to try and uh, grab an objective when it dropped down. So, the f ah, yes. The green is the actual objective marker that came down, and uh, this is me remembering to actually put my Blight Kings on the board along with Gut Rot Spume. They end up not doing a lot of good for me during this game. Um... His Hellstorm rocket battery with the Lord Ordinator did a ton of work. He used Consummate Commander so that he was getting the plus one to hit off of his Celestin, and then also using the Ordinator, which I think was a really cool play. I like that move a lot. And his Liberators were really kind of tying up a lot of my units and blocking up the middle. 
and his shooting was just taking a lot of my stuff down. Um, in general, uh, this list is not that strong to shooting, which I found out pretty quickly uh, over the course of a few games here. Um, I brought my uh, two units of Blight Kings around the Liberators to charge them in, uh, and just moved up that unit of Blight Kings to start trying to hustle towards that objective. Um, got into the unit of Liberators and started doing the work on them, but at the, the level of save that they had, it was just going to take forever to get through those guys. Um, he moved up his uh, Judicators and his Griff Hound to take that first objective in the star strike and start pulling ahead in point um he took out my uh harbinger of decay with uh some kind of shooting probably the hellstorms i think if i'm remembering correctly and festus was just kind of hanging out back there hoping to get some minus one to the saves of all of those liberators um Hellstorm's just kind of hanging out, doing lots of shooting. It sucked. Moving right along, um, as you can see, I was pretty quickly taking out a lot of his Liberators, but the flip side of that was that he was hitting me back pretty hard, and he got rid of my Harbinger so I didn't have the extra save buff, and he was shooting the ever-loving bejesus out of me this whole game. Now, the really obvious thing that I should have been doing that I did not do was use the wheel to uh, do mortal wounds to him at on every turn. That would really have been the correct play here. Uh, and I sh would have in like one to two turns wiped out all of the crew on his war machines and then it would not have been nearly as much of an issue with all of his shooting. Um... Once again, those guys just kind of hanging out. I believe I failed a charge on him, if I remember correctly. I finally remembered on turn three to uh, start taking out his guys. Um, yeah, all of these Blight Kings, not that effective when they're just kind of hanging out doing nothing. That is for darn sure. Um, I kind of made a bold move up the middle to try and capture the objective that came down on his end of the table, um, which he was pretty easily holding. Um, I was thinking I would probably relatively easily get his objective, but I was kind of banking on the double turn, which I did not get. If I had gotten the double turn, I would have been able to move these Blight Kings up and then run in charge, grab the objective, and wipe out those Judicators that were guarding it. Um, I did did eventually get enough contagion points to summon up a Beast of Nurgle. I didn't summon the Balewind Vortex this game because I figured it was probably going to be pretty much a waste considering just uh, how much shooting my opponent had. And yeah, Festus went down really quick. He was a pretty uh, high level priority target. I was able to get uh, the objective on my side of the board on uh like right in the center thankfully so my great unclean one was able to hold on to that so it was really a battle over those other two objectives uh and that was not going well failed the charge failed everything there was a long bomb charge that i tried then i lost turn priority then he shot those guys to pieces and then he attacked them with heroes um on the other side i did make it through i got through all of those judicators and the Griff Hound was able to grab that objective. Um, but just the way I piled in, he was able to, on his turn, grab it back uh, by retreating Judicators out and putting some other Judicators nearby that were just out of combat with me, but closer to the objective than I was to take it over. So that was fun. Um, that was poor planning on my part. I definitely should have been more cognizant of my pile-ins. Um, here, uh, I just went YOLO with the Beast of Nurgle. I didn't really have much of a plan with him other than be a distraction. Uh, and he was, you know, seven wounds of a distraction. Got up in there, got in the way, uh, kept the heat off the Great Unclean one, and 
at least got me, kept me scoring points on that one objective, so it wasn't like a ridiculous total blowout, only mostly a blowout. Uh, and that is it. Um, that I nearly got tabled that game, and it was uh, quite an experience. Um, yeah, so two important lessons that I really learned from this. Uh, make sure you bring your Blight Kings on. Uh, that's very, very important. Gut Rot Spium actually entering the battlefield when he's supposed to is key. And number two, uh, when you have things that are important to kill that you have trouble killing because they're at range, use the wheel to kill them. Anywho, that's it for now, guys. That was, was a pretty quick one. This game went down really fast. It was the last game of the night, and I was exhausted by the end of it. So that is all for now. Um, congratulations to uh, my opponent, uh, and I'm forgetting his name at the moment, but he was a great guy and had a lot of fun uh, despite my horrific loss. Uh, and that's it for now.